think like people like had some hype for it to begin with, and then she kind of fell off a little. But I still think she's solid, you know. Like that, that all that good stuff about her didn't go away or anything. You know? She has to play a very meticulous playstyle. I feel like, like, cause she's yeah. she's still slow. She's still like her frame data still isn't amazing. Oh, they're wearing um, matching dresses. You need that. They're both red. Oh, they must have called beforehand. Poor bracket. <laughs> All right, but this is kind of what I expected to see. Uh, especially, I'm surprised to see a, a small stage like Smashville to start with. Uh, That's probably advantage Palutena, I have to think, on the striking. Ooh. Because okay. Zelda needs to set up things like that That Phantom. He needs to set up things like uh, if you're going for Din's Fires or anything, you need a little time to set up. But Phantom is the big tool. Yeah, I, I feel like Palutena's tools are going to be perfect for disrupting Zelda more often than not, just because she's going to have that mobility to mix things up, and at the same time, Explosive Flame is going to mess with uh, the space of the Phantom. But you still have to actually space it right, because if not, then the Phantom's going to be the one coming out. And now, Steven Shark is the one with the uh, stage advantage. Ooh, oh! wow, catching the jump! I love that! Using what a the trap! Phantom, yeah, using the Phantom to bait him up high. Very good stuff. And that's, the, that's, that's what Zelda can do, man! I love this character. You need that time to set up. Is it, and that's clearly what Steven Shark has, right? Yeah, he's getting these grabs that'll throw away with this uh, this back air. And now he's got a phantom to get some extra Ooh. damage in. Oh, and reading the high option. Man, Steven Shark is all over him. Controlling the stage as you need to. When, when you, Zelda has massive control of the stage, she looks like a top tier. You yeah. are correct. Oh, wow. And even like the, the ne Nehru's love like lets him... Uh, like have some invincibility through the uh, explosive flame. I didn't know that. Because usually, like explosive flame just beats out a lot of things. Oh. What? <laughs> Hello. Mm. Okay. I love that. We got the taunt charging up the like the power into that forward smash. Let's go. Let's I go, Steven Shark. He's on the money with that forward air, man. This is crazy. All right, but the explosive flame is gonna catch him, and that's like th that is the one thing you gotta be careful. Taunt for taunt, baby. Yeah. This is this is gonna be a scrappy match. I feel like. I don't think Storm really expected like the, the quickness of uh, Steven Shark in this matchup. Like he was probably expecting like something a bit slower and wanted to, right. you know, maybe speed things up. But Steven Shark is the one keeping things super fast. He's making Zelda look fast. Yeah, That's exactly what you're saying. It's weird. It's weird to say because she's still a very deliberate character. Yeah, I, I really think like a lot of it has to do with the fact that like it's the smaller stage. They have to kind of scrap it up in close range. Wow, he was in the very, very corner of the blast zone. I love that. Uh, like that, we can see exactly how close to death they were. Yeah, the DI tracker. It's yep. one of my favorite little additions to this game. Bold attempt at the uh, the teleport. I like it though. Ooh, wow, at that. He got the Phantom there just to, like, say, okay, I, I avoided the Phantom. Let me drop shield and get the hell out of here. But, no, you got the boot to the face, man. The Phantom just, like, body blocked the camera. Yeah. That was the thing about it. It's like you can't tell. I couldn't even tell if his shield was dropped or not because the Phantom was there. All right, here's the shield break. Man. Wow, just the forward smash into sweet spot forward air. That was enough. Just two moves, and your shield was broken. All right, that was fun. That could have poked, too. There's definitely, like, a chance of that poking. Yeah, it could have, but, like, I think the shield was still kind of, like, you know, it was, it wasn't dead, you know? It was still, right. like, at a decent size before he got hit with that forward hammer. It's just so strong that it just completely broke Palutena's it. shoulders were definitely out of the shield, so, yeah. like, but he was just so accurate. Like, I think he specifically wanted the shield poke with the way he spaced that. Right, so, so he got his wish. Yeah, I think Storm's going to want to slow this one down a little bit. He's a little more auto radical. Wow, he j literally jab-locked him with a weak hit of back air. Okay. Steven Shark is <laughs> moving right now. He was a Bayo player in Smash 4 oh, for, was a, little, he? Okay. for a little bit. <laughs> There's a lot of Bayo players that picked up uh, Zelda. Oh, I, uh, I know Mysterica did, so mm. I, I have, a, <laughs> I have like a, a range of two. Well, Tyree always had a Zelda. It's just not a bracket character for him. Like his, his Zelda is still really fancy. Gemini also plays Zelda a little bit, too. Uh, a Bayo player from uh, Illinois. Oh, okay. All right. That was a scrap if I ever saw one. The the Phantom body blocked the uh, the auto reticle hits. Yeah. The and then he was able to come through with a Din's Fire. I didn't really consider that. The Phantom must be really good for that kind of thing. Man, getting up off ledge against a full Phantom is so intimidating. And man, Steven Shark had the spacing advantage and got that back air despite uh, Storm getting past the Phantom. I think Storm needs to be a little bit more belligerent, you know? Force the issue with things like these explosive flames and disadvantage. Like, come in with dash attacks and back airs. Yeah, I mean, he's doing it right now. We got more explosive flames and back airs coming out here. 
all look for a roll read. A little bit ambitious. Uh, now Steven Shark's got a little bit of room to set up here. See, that up smash is like almost too respectful. Like you want to be going, there you go. That's Disrespect it. Yeah, you you, you kind of just want to take these like mid-tier-ish characters and just nair straight through them. That's like your plan with Palutena, right? Uh, yeah, and, and caught him at the ledge of back here too. Like, uh, that was some good pressure. Keeping it even here is, stir is Storm. I almost called him Storm. <laughs> that's not you up there. <laughs> Oh, Unfortunately oh, not. Oh, oh, you saved him! Oh, that's unfortunate. But, still gonna continue the aggression. Not gonna let that face him. It's the grab. Phantom set up. Oh, nice. Okay. Explosive play to break up that whole situation. Again, just disrespect. That's what you need to be doing here if you're Storm. And when you say that, you don't mean like disrespecting the player, just like, like the character, like not respecting their yeah, options. Say, say I have this option that just beats that option every single time and I need to use it. Like, if you're trying to be too fancy, that's how you can lose these matchups. Back it, or back throw. Got a full Oh, yeah, that's a lot of shield pressure. Oh, <laughs> look at that. He, had to, he was forced off stage by, like, the Yeah, he had to get the out of push. there. Right? Oh, Ooh. caught him. Great Man. aim on the teleport. I don't know if that was a read or, like, a reaction, because he was already, like, doing the... Uh, the the uh, Aurora's the win. Yeah. yeah, I was trying to remember which uh, which goddess it was. Like, okay, not Dids, not 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 for, or, uh, Yeah, I always I always remember all of them except for Feroz. You are correct. It's the hardest one to just recall on the spot. But he, I you think you're right. He started aiming it, saw the explosive, and he's like, okay, I can just come and kill you. Oh, back here, just barely living. 158 percent. You got the back here coming out, and the nair too. That was nice. Uh. Because he was probably expecting another back air, so he kind of jumped away, but the Nair caught him drifting in. All right, here comes Storm's turn. Getting a bunch of hits through with these up airs. But going for every single aerial. Oh, and continuing with the up tilt. I like that. Extending the landing, or extending the combo with the landing. Not allowing any time to set up. Like, yeah. see, as soon as that Phantom comes out, they split the flames right there. Yeah, yes. Yeah, uh, Storm definitely in the advantage here. He's starting to figure out that matchup. That first game was really a what is this character <laughs> kind of game. But Storm is, even if he loses this, he, he has learned. Ooh, yeah, that was, uh, he didn't quite have the explosive flame spacing right. I think uh, Steven Shark's taking that into account now. Ooh. Wow, look at that again. The, the, Nairu's, the, uh, the Nehru's love. Oh, man, these back airs. And what can Zelda do to get out of this corner? You have to be aggressive. Come through with another Feroz win, oh, and another that, jump that, forced. That was how the first stock was taken, man. I, or I think so, at least yeah, in the first right. game. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Caught the jump, man. It still works. There's so many mix-ups at the ledge that she has with that uh, Phantom, like, forcing you to commit to an option because mm. you don't want